You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Item provided by PaperWarplanes.com for review. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and I am back on my Huntley's Paper Warplane. If you're not sure what I'm talking about in video one, which I'll put a link in the description, I actually build this part of my paper airplane, and now I am on basically page two, they call Actually, the top of page one, so it'd be like a second page. And it needed balsa wood, so that's why I ended the first video and said I better get some balsa wood. So I got a big chunk here and I cut that down and made this little piece here, which they show you in the instructions right there. Okay, and then they needed a 1 16th inch thick piece, that's about one inch. And I took a coin and I measured it there, so I have to cut that out at some point. And I need to cut all this out here so that I can continue the build. Now they give you this instruction sheet, which uh, pretty much shows you uh, this half here. So this is the one I'm working on, the top of page one. And I'm on step nine, where it says, return to upper half of page one and cut out engine front. Okay, so cut engine disc. So cut out engine front. So this is engine front right here. Now this, I was thinking I can do this with a pair of scissors so I am going to do it and not use my very sharp exacto knife so I put disclaimers in the last video about sharp knives and then I actually showed you the whole cutting and building process in that video so let me clear this out now okay and continue this now I use this as my template. Remember this side, I showed you the coins. It's right on there. I just wanted to get that exact size. Now that I'll probably have to use an X-Acto knife. Now if you look at this, this also, all these little individual lines in here are cuts. And you can see it here. All those need to be cut out. That's going to take a little time. All right. So there, that is the next step. Cut that out. All right, yeah, cut it out. And this is cut engine disc from 1 16th sheet of balsa. So here is some balsa wood. Let me get some thicker scissors here and cut this straight down. It's very soft wood if you're not familiar with it. So you can cut it with scissors or a knife. And then let me get my marker. And then I will trace this coin on here. Let me do it this way. Okay, I'll do it over on this corner here. All right, so I'm just gonna trace this now onto here and then I will cut this out. And this I will probably use, I could probably use the scissors for this. I'll try it with the scissors first. If it doesn't work, then I'll just go to an X-Acto knife. There we go. That's the size of that. That's going to get glued on that sheet. Let's see. Yeah, it cuts okay. This is uh, going to be a challenging project. There's still a lot more to go. I read ahead a little bit, so I'm going to have to cut some more balsa wood, I think. Or a pencil eraser. There we go. So I'm done with all that now. Let's see. Cut out engine cowling. Fold and cement the gray panel behind so it serves as the inside color while strengthening the cowling. Okay, so this is the cowling. One of these is the cowling. Let's see. Center cowling, cowling and cockpit assembly. Huh. Cut, okay, cut out engine cowling, fold and cement the gray panel. I think this is going to be the engine cowling here, so cowling, I keep saying it wrong. Here we go. And I'm going to use the scissors for this because there's nice straight cuts. And I do like to take breaks because i got to stop and look at score marks and verify I'm doing things correctly. So if I do stop, it's kind of just to get a mental refresher, you know. Look at the little pictures, maybe study the instructions a little bit more. Okay, 
fold gray panel under. Okay, so that means I'm going to need a score mark. Okay. So fold gray panel under. So now for scoring, they had me use something like a pen, it said. So I'm, I use this to kind of score the mark. Okay. Hopefully we get a nice fold, which we do now. Look at that. It looks like I've got some glue from another project still on my finger. All right. And this is going to fold over and probably tab in there. And I still need to cut all these out. So I think I'm at a good point now. Let's see. Okay, then cut out center cowling cockpit assembly. Okay, so that is this piece here. So let me do that next. I'll do that right now while we're here. And then look at all the folds. So let me get this cut out, then I'll come back. I'll refresh, read through everything. Now all these other cuts I did with my X-Acto knife, but it seems that these I found these little scissors the other day, and they're very sharp and precise for cutting. So I thought, hmm, I'm going to try those when I do the next part of the video. So here I am. Here, before I do that, now that my score marks are there, so let me hit some of these score marks. It's got a lot of folds in this. Maybe that's not a score mark, we'll see. Okay, almost set. This is the bend I'm going for on this section. And this is all going to go together like this with the wood piece that I cut out of the balsa wood and sanded and shaped it. Now that I didn't put on video. I just did that off the video. Okay, there we go. Let me do a quick study here, come back, and then I will continue on with the build. Alright, so I decided to cut out these little sections here. I don't know if you can see them. They're very small and precise. But it's the only way to fold these back. And if you hear me breathing, I am sorry. The last time I actually put some music on, I don't know if I'm going to do it this time. I'm trying not to breathe. I'm holding my breath as much as possible. And I have to sniffle too, so, yeah. <laughs> sorry. Getting harder to see now in this darker color area. I'm kind of holding it and pulling it out. Actually, it's almost impossible to see in that darker color area. So let me get the ones that I can see easier. I have to say, this is definitely a challenge project. Now, it's not that I haven't built models before, which I have, and I've shown some on video. It's that I've never done anything like this before.
And I like building paper airplanes, so that's a bonus. I wish those lines would have been a little bit easier to see. here just a little. Okay, a few more. Yep, I definitely went off course. But it's hard to tell where those little lines are. If you're trying to study this with me, I'm sure you're hopefully not struggling like I am trying to find them, but I'm guessing you are. Most of this is covered, so it's not the end of the world. This is what you need to actually bend them backwards. Kind of freestyling now. There, I think that's good enough for me to put that in place. Was I too close there? Sorry if I was too close. Alright, now. And cemented to back of engine. So this now gets cemented here so that these will fold backwards. So let's do that. Now I'll use their stick but I think I will. No, I think I'm going to use my my little paintbrush. Okay, a little bit on this. My brush is shedding. And I'll try to center this onto this. And stop moving it around. But I will move this now. Hold the paper and slide it that way just a little. And then this way just a little. Okay. So that is that piece. All right, cement the gray panel. Okay, so now cut out engine cowling, folded cement the gray panel. All right, so this needs to be cemented into that. And I'm assuming, wait, come on. Okay, and cement this into this. My brush. I tried to clean it and make it more usable and it's shedding on me now. Get a little more glue on this. Okay. Use a little 
over just a little. All right, I'm gonna let that set now. And then I'm gonna move on to this, bending this. It's gonna be the next difficult section. So let me study that just a little bit, come back and work on that. All right, everything is drying good. Now I'm gonna work on this bend. Okay. So the first bend is this was the first line. I was using this kind of as my guide to remember where those bends were. Okay, so it's just a little bit past the first area there. So that's gonna look like this. And then the second bend is right on this area here. Let me use a little ruler to help me with this. Okay, so it's this way, and then it's gonna bend out. I just find it. It's right on that line there. Okay, so we have this so far. Okay, and then the next one, they're really hard to see, but once I get the bends, I'll, no, I don't want the bends. This one here, oops. I'll bend it towards me, at least I'll know where the bend is. Okay. So this like this, this like this, this like this, backwards. And the next one comes down. And that one is right about here. So this one's gonna bend the other way. Looks like right at the end of that green section. Okay, so I think that is the look. And then one more at the end, going all the way up this way. I think I got it right. There, so I just need to improve upon that just slightly. This one here is the one I need to... Okay, first bend. Oh, it's a little further back. Hmm, I think I misbent that, hold on. All right, here's one of those times I gotta just take a step back. So let me do that, clarify this, and then I'll come right back. Actually, I think I had it pretty close. This is what this end piece looks like here. Uh, it's hard to get that angle. Just might need some, a little adjustment later. All right, so that's bent. Wow. Okay, cut out engine cowling, full smith wave. Okay, cut out center cowling, and cut, uh, crease and bend the set section that section of the bending profile. Carve a balsa wood nose, which I did, to those dimensions. And cement it inside the center cowling and cockpit assembly. Cement the back side of the engine disc to the front of the nose block. Now here's where I'm a little confused, because they don't really give you the distance where this block goes. Does it start all the way here? And this is gonna go over this, okay? And then the disc for the engine. See, this is what I'm not too sure. Or does this go up here if I'm cementing this to the engine and it fits in this space? Hard to tell from the drawings exactly where this goes. So I'm gonna bend these a little bit better. Now, a little bit better. Yes, nice. And then this, it says cement the back side into the front of the nose block. So if I'm putting this onto this, then this has to go up way up here. So that's why I feel like the diagram or the picture might be slightly off as the distance. It's really hard to tell there in that 
diagram. So let me study that a little bit more, come back, and no reason to rush it now. And then I'll figure it out, and then I will move on. So I'll be right back again. All right, so I had to think about this a little bit, and I actually test some pieces together because this, I will show you, is going to be glued all the way up here, even though the picture really doesn't make it look like that, because this whole assembly is going to slide in here like this, okay, and work its way across, and that's why you need that wood support in there. Then this section here should match up, which it does. Then this is going to end up being glued into here like that. Now it's got to go here on the cardboard, I mean on the plane, because one, the straw is inside there. Remember that straw I put in? And two, then it's going to end up with this right in front, because that's kind of the way we need to end up. So that's how that's going to push in. And no, I've never built one of these before. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just kind of going really slow. So, where was I? Now, remember these measurements are approximate. I had to sand them down just a little bit. So, cement the back side of the engine disc to, okay, center cowling and cockpit. Cement inside the center cowling and cockpit assembly. So that's this. So I need to get glue all over this up to a certain point and then on these two flaps. And I'm not gonna skimp on the glue for this being an important piece. Okay, ooh, I dripped off on my instructions. Okay, a little bit more. Yeah, I'll grab my small brush. I'll use this now. Don't need this part of the instructions anymore anyway. Okay, and I'll put a little bit on here now. So that's going to stay like that. All right, let me see if I can crimp it with my big crimper. That worked good, although I'd like to crimp it lengthwise. Let me try to do it from this side. That would be a nice grab if I could. Hopefully it doesn't shoot out on me. Okay, so I gotta let that dry now, and then I'm gonna come back and continue on. I'll do the rest of page one, which should complete this part before I move on to the next page. Will probably be the next video, so I'm gonna come back after this sets a little bit, and then continue on. All right, so I'm moving right along. This has been sitting for a good five minutes. Glue has dried. I'm gonna put this onto this. I'm pretty sure I would need to center this, but. Yeah, it looks like that's going to be about center because that's going to slide in. So there's a little bit on the top and a little bit on the bottom. So I need to glue that. And I guess what? I'm going to have to break again. So that's the only way I guess you can do a build like this is you have to keep stopping and going and stopping and going because you got to let the glue dry. Okay. Let's put a little bit more on there just for good measure. And let's see, is there an up or down? So the gray side, they don't really show you. I think it goes down. The way I'm looking at the picture, it's gray at the bottom and then gray at the bottom here. So this will be the bottom. Oh, there's so many things to consider. Okay, get that in place. I'll let that sit now, and hopefully when I come back, that'll be dried, and I can continue on. Because now this section here, looking at the picture, I'd use the picture, it says, where did I read this? Doo -doo -doo -doo. It says, crimping, oh, crimping the front edge of the cowling inward and recessing the engine front, one eighth inch will give a more realistic appearance. So this is the front of the engine, so this little lip here, you would almost want to just work your way around and slowly crimp it in. Oh, 
and I saw that too in another section of the plane and I'll show you that in just a second so once you get this all crimped in it's gonna have that rounded look I'm gonna take some time and then this one was crimped outward in the picture of the model that kind of flared out just a little bit okay so those are little details I'm gonna have to figure out I will keep crimping come back when that's dry and then we will continue on with the build you see now it's starting to take on the rounded shape I got glue on my fingers so I will be back in well for you about a second for me probably 10 more minutes all right, I'm still waiting for that to dry, but as I was bending this, I read later I was not supposed to glue that together, but I found a nice way to make a nice front nose cowling. I took this little bottle here, and I've just been kind of slowly working this over to get that bend right at the end. See that there? I wanted to show you that. And I've been turning it and kind of just working it so I get a nice rounded end. So there's a little helpful advice from me. And now look, I have a nice rounded front nose piece. All right, that is set. And this is not dry, so I don't want to jump the gun on that. And here we go. I got to stop again. I'll be back. All right, that is set. And now I need to fold this all down. So. Here we go. I'll still be careful here because I let sit for about 15 minutes. And this should fit over this. And I think with a little work it will. All right, so here's where. I probably should have not glued this together. Ah, there we go. So that's going to get cemented now, just like that. And then this is going to fit into this when it's ready. Now I'm jumping the gun here, but at least you can see it. And this will fold over this. Okay. There we go. And then this. It's folded back just a little, like I said earlier, and I think that's where we're at, okay? So I'll have to glue that, but at least we know it says overlap and cement. Remember, this is going to get pulled through. Everything seems to be lining up okay, so it looks like that'll get cemented into there, underneath that. And now you can see inside, you've got your windshield everything looks like it's going to fit right into place and when that's done let's see let's read here it says overlap and cement engine cuff on front of fuselage allow the above assembly to slip inside as far back as the cockpit canopy so that's where i have it set this assembly side later to cement it plate no set this assembly aside to later cement it in place inside the outer fuselage on page three leaving the canopy unsecured so i still don't want to glue that. There we are. And here's a little picture. You can see it right here. This top piece is what's done. Gets put into that lower section. So I think we are moving right along. So that is video two. I'll have video one in the description. Imagine it's flying by now. And then at some point I will move on to video three. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and learned something up till this point. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.